Hi, this will be a short video about the latest version 1.1.6 DJI Fly app changes for the Mavic Mini. Previously, I have uploaded the version 1.1.5 interface video talking about the usage of every icon few days after the release of unofficial version 1.1.6. Well, bad timing for me as I started the planning and preparation for that somewhere middle of July, so I thought I'd just release and upload it even though it's a little bit too late. But all the information was still useful and applicable to the latest version as well. If you already watched that video, I would like to thank you for that. If you haven't, you can check it out as well. I will put the link in the description below. Kindly do consider subscribing to my channel for future upload. I hope all my previous informative videos are helpful to everyone. Otherwise, you can leave your constructive comment below for me to improve in future video. I'll thank you in advance. This version 1.1.6 flight app update are probably meant and focus on the Mavic Air 2 with the newly added gimbal pitch, speed and smoothness. Your rotation speed and smoothness in every mod. Aside from that, both the Mavic Air 2 and Mavic Mini has a new battery icon and information which I think most of you guys have already noticed if you already updated your app. I'm going to talk about this new battery icon in this video, since that's the only changes for the Mavic Mini. Now, the battery icon looks more attractive and colorful. A good visual improvement. Good job for that. And when you tap on it, you will now have three new timing information. A total changes from the previous one. Sadly. They removed the battery voltage from the main interface and I do hope that they will bring the voltage back to the main interface in their upcoming update. Now, if you want to access to the battery voltage, you have to tap on the three dots on the top right. The setting, go into safety tab, scroll down and you will see this new battery info. Tap on it and you will get the voltage reading here together with the battery temperature that was used to be in the main interface, as well as the battery serial number, charge cycle, and the production date. Okay, so let's go back to the new battery icon in the main interface. Most of the time, we will see three colors line, circling a green color number. The number still represent the overall general percentage, and will change from green to orange or red accordingly. The green line is the remaining battery without any low battery warning. The orange line will be the low battery RTH warning. Battery level is low. The red line will be the critical low battery with a false landing. And the timing beside it. It's now clear that it shows the timer until the battery depleted, which probably means 0%. If we tap on it, we will get to see three countdown timers and the respective color on that as well. All those timings are variable and will change according to the aircraft power consumption. The first one orange color until RTH. It will calculate the timing based on the home point distance versus remaining battery and warn the user ahead of time before the battery really become insufficient to fly back home point. So, the further we go, the lesser the timer. And when it reaches zero, it will prompt a return to home warning with a 10 second countdown timer. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. You can still choose to cancel that to fly it back manually. Or just tap confirm and the aircraft will initiate return to home procedure. The orange color line will not be available if the aircraft and the home point is within 20 meter, because in this case, the aircraft will land wherever it is when you engage the RTH function. The number will not be available and display as zero. The second one, red color, until force landing, will be initiated when the timer reach zero or when there's only 5% battery left in most cases and a critical low battery warning will be prompted with a 10 second countdown to initiate force landing. In this case, the aircraft will start descent and force land itself regardless of where the aircraft is. The aircraft will still react to all the remote 
control input during force descending. So that's the last chance for us to find a safe spot for landing. And here is another test I did to see how accurate is the until force landing timer. The aircraft was just hovering in front of me with very very mild wind. I'll start off at 7% remaining and the timer is showing 30 seconds left. Let's put a stopwatch and see if it's tally with it. That's all for the battery update. No doubt, the new icon looks much better than the previous one, but whether the new variable timing information is very useful to you or not, let me know by commenting below. Hope to see you on my next video again.